Bloody hell. You ain't your own voice, don't you? That's the spirit champ. Prime Video's original series, The Boys, is not only the most popular series on Amazon's streaming video service, it routinely has a higher viewership than even Marvel superhero shows. The series has just completed its fourth season, racking up billions of views despite its mature content. The Boys is crude, grossly violent, and often offends even its biggest fans. That hasn't affected its popularity, so why is the show so successful? We're breaking down the reasons. A superhero show that deconstructs superheroes. While Marvel superhero shows struggle, The Boys excels because it defies the genre's conventions. The MCU has defined the superhero genre for well over a decade, and The Boys takes those expectations and turns them upside down. The Boys deviates from the genre by telling a superhero story with no heroes. Every superpowered person is broken in some way, leading to a compelling watch. Homelander and the members of the Seven pretend to be on the side of justice while being ruthlessly evil. Opposing the Seven is Billy Butcher, the definition of an anti-hero with no redeeming qualities except for his quest for vengeance. Even Huey Campbell, who started off as the ultimate do-gooder, compromises his principles along the way. The superhero genre relies on clearly defining good from evil. The Boys tosses this idea out the window and argues that only the ruthless, not the righteous, win. Satire done right. The Boys is primarily a satire of the superhero genre, but its brilliance is the wit and subtlety in its satirical take on politics, culture, and religion. There are plenty of superhero parodies and send-ups these days, but The Boys does it better than anyone, mocking the idea of cinematic universes and mass merchandising while still providing solid superhero action and lots of dark humor. A perfect cast. When it premiered, The Boys lacked A-list star power. Its biggest star was Carl Urban, who appeared in Lord of the Rings, Star Trek, and Marvel's Thor films. As Billy Butcher, he brings an obnoxious charm with just the right amount of humanity. The supporting cast is equally good, and the show's fantastic writing gave them breakthrough roles. That includes Jack Quaid, who made Huey Campbell one of the more interesting characters even though he doesn't have superpowers. Anthony Starr, who plays Homelander, is now one of the most recognizable faces on television and has birthed what feels like a thousand internet memes. Erin Moriarty has appeared in several critically acclaimed films, but she finally gets her due as Annie January, AKA Starlight, bringing a unique take that makes the character her own. The show wouldn't be half as successful without the cast, and they are the key to the boys' success. They keep us coming back, even when it takes two years for a new season. That's our look at the boys, now streaming on Prime Video.